Hello, I'm the Great Cue Ball. Today I'm just going to set the record straight about one thing. For many years, there's been a product out there that you guys have been trying to make look really bad. Now, I don't know where the start of the bad reputation for this stuff is, but I'm here to set the record straight. Let's talk spam, people. Meat of the gods, as I say. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. It's just some ground, nasty, mostly unused pig parts ground together to make us eat it. Like lips, intestines, I don't know, uh, other nasty things. Um, anyway, I'm here to tell you, the FDA would not allow such a thing to happen. Not only is it illegal, but nobody's really cruel enough to make us eat that stuff, it's not ethical, not even to that standard. This stuff is made with only a few ingredients. Pork with ham, salt, water, potato starch, sugar, and sodium nitrite. Six things, that's all it is. And sodium nitrite is there to keep the meat from turning gray. It's commonly found in like uh, pepperoni, salami, bacon, all sorts of good meats. So you got nothing to worry there. Now back in the day this stuff used to have gel in the bottom of the can. That's simply the result of when they cook it inside the can which is what they do to make it. The the grease and the juices have to have somewhere to go thus the gel they got rid of that problem it's still there it's just inside the meat thanks to potato starch and that's what causes it to be more moist and delicious actually so you really have nothing to be afraid of when it comes to spam in fact did you know back in World War II that our troops was eating this stuff that's why they had so much rations back in America. And they gave it to people in Britain and especially Russia. Uh, it really fed their starving troops. So uh, think about that next time you try and shun this stuff. way I see it, spammed help win the war, if you ask me. Now, some of you are probably thinking, uh, well, what about fat? What about the na the overly salty taste? Well, I can see where the salt is kind of an issue, but I have a solution for you guys. Spam light. Not as salty, less fat, fewer calories, and less sodium for you people trying to watch your heart. In fact, they just got a less sodium version of this stuff if you just want to hold the sodium and not anything else. This meat actually comes in a lot of great varieties. You've got your bacon, your cheese, your spicy, hickory smoke, can't go wrong there. And there's a lot more, including one that's made of, get this, nothing but turkey. I'm not talking pork with ham with turkey stuffed in it, it's just lean white turkey. It's really good stuff, actually. Perfect for lunch meat. Now, this meat has a lot of great applications. You can make a wonderful omelet with this stuff. It's pretty good in macaroni and cheese, and uh, it's a lot of great applications. In fact, if you look on the back of the can here, you can see there's a wonderful recipe on the back. And I hate to be a little bit of an advertiser, but for more information, you can actually check out their official website. Link right here, buddy. Um... That way, uh, you can go to their website and check out their uh, recipes that they have online. I can tell you. Sounds good. Well, I hope I uh, proved to you guys that spam ain't a bad thing. It's actually great. Long time ago, it used to be a wonderful thing for the household, and it was a pretty much a housewife's best friend. I'm Q-Ball, and that concludes one of my uh, episodes of uh, Setting the Record Straight. Thank you for watching.